joins Kenny Brack as the only other Swede. Did it, buddy. You just won the Indy 500. Marcus Ericsson wins the Indianapolis 500 in the most dramatic way. You want to talk about mental fortitude. Think about what this driver just went through in the last 10 minutes. Leading easily, red flag comes out, has to restart. You take a second parade lap, think about your family and everybody that got you to this point. You are an Indy 500 champion. And for Chip Ganassi, the team owner there, Diff, probably a huge sigh of relief. I mean, he had so many shots to win. There's Chip right now. Strongest team all month. Oh Erickson is one of the quiet guys of the paddock. He is a lovely human being, and we just saw a tiger that we have never seen. That was some aggressive weaving. You could tell that he's definitely been watching videos. I saw shades of Simon Pagano in 2019. An incredible run. Alexander Rossi pulling up alongside fellow Indy 500 champion, offering some congratulations. Such a cool moment for a driver. The coolest one you can have. Chip likes winners, guys. He likes winners. And he's got another one. He's got another one. And he brought a race-winning team here with five different options. And it was this guy in the end. All the talk really was about Polo and Dixon. An honorable mention to Alex Polo getting back up into the top 10 after those early woes. But this win actually puts Marcus Erickson and this number eight crew to the top of the points table from eight. Wow. A gain of seven places. That double points for Indianapolis makes a huge difference. Going to be Husky chocolates all around for these boys as they run down to meet their driver. And think about this. A guy who helped Scott Dixon get to where he was, fellow Swede, former F1 and IndyCar driver Stefan Johansson, who manages Scott. National pride would be here now for Marcus Ericsson. Rob Kaufman and Chip Ganassi there. There's Alex, his trainer. Marcus Ericsson is going to get to drink the milk. You know, all through practice week, we saw the pace this car had. It looked so strong. I thought he was even going to be stronger than he was in qualifying, but it doesn't matter. When it, when it counted, he was there. So he'll get ready to roll onto the ramp for the best elevator ride in the world. Victory Lane here at Indianapolis. It's been a long time coming. It's been 10 years since Chip Ganassi Racing won the Indy 500. It was Dario Franchitti, and Dario's here to see that. Chip wants to take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, Marcus Erickson has never pushed a throttle pedal harder in his life than those last two laps. From the minute he accelerated off of four, not an inch, not a millimeter of lift would have come through that throttle pedal as he kept it pinned. And I'll bet Pato Award was in second there thinking, how am I making 16 turns on one lap of Indianapolis as he had to go left and right to just try to draft Erickson? That move that Award put on him in turn one, I thought Award had it. Oh, I thought and this man, it. this man hung tough. But by Award, maybe having a little bit of patience, he's second in the championship rather than in the wall on the last lap of the Indy 500. <laughs> Chip Ganassi likes winners, Marty Snyder. He's got another one. Just an unbelievable finish here to the 106 running of the Indianapolis 500. Marcus Erickson going to take the elevator lift all the way up here. Very under the radar. A lot of folks said Chip Ganassi racing, but they weren't saying Marcus Erickson is a potential winner, but he showed the speed he had at the end of that race. Once he gets up here, he'll get the symbols of victory here at Indianapolis, the winner's wreath from Borg Warner made of 33 ivy orchids and 33 miniature flags as well of course the milk marcus shows whole kind of joke that he won the wholest milk possible in the winner's ring from justin's as well the princesses are here too and it's amazing how your career can change in one race marcus erickson when he climbs out of this car will be an indianapolis 500 winner 
By the way, the race in Sweden being broadcast in prime time right now. I'm sure this is going to be quite a hit there, becoming the second Swede to win this race. Michael Guerra up here kind of breathing a sigh of relief after the crazy end to this one. You can also see Marcus in the car kind of taking a moment to soak all this in as he takes off his helmet. And Marcus Erickson will climb out of the car as the winner of the 106 running of the Indianapolis 500. Marcus, go ahead and climb out. You're good. Go ahead and get out and enjoy this moment with your race team. Here he is, everyone. Marcus Erickson. And here comes the milk. Cheers with the milk as well. And the winner's ring he'll get also from Johnston's. They'll bring that in. And we'll get a word with him. Chip Ganassi just said, I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> After the day he went through Alex Pelot with the issue on pit road. Scott Dixon with a penalty as well. And there's the winner's ring. What a moment for the Swede. Let's get in here and get a word with him. Well, take one more picture. Why not? With Firestone hat. <laughs> How about that? How did you refocus after the red flag in that moment? Because you were not happy that it came out. I can't believe it. <clears throat> I felt, you know... You can never take anything for granted, and obviously there were still laps to go. And I was praying so hard it was not going to be another yellow. But I knew it was probably going to be one, and um, it was hard to sort of refocus. But I knew the car was amazing. The 8th crew and Chip Ganassi Racing, Honda has done such an amazing job. So I knew the Husky Chocolate car was fast enough, but it was still hard, you know. I had to do everything there and then to keep them behind. But I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Mike O'Gara told you on the radio, take a moment, soak it in, think about your family and everyone that got you here. Who did you think about when he said that? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I got my family's here, my mom and dad and my brother and my girlfriend and Finn, who's been backing me all my career, and my manager, Aya and Alex. They're all healed here today, you know, and, and I won, so I can't, I can't believe it. You came here from F1. You didn't like ovals when you first got here. You like them now? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Marcus Erickson, winner of the Indianapolis 500 and all the emotion that comes along with it, Diff. As we were saying before, he is one of the nice guys in the paddock. And there'll be a lot of people very happy for him. We have got plenty more to come from the 106th Indianapolis 500 that finished in the most dramatic way with a new winner. Marcus Eriksson is his name of Sweden and he displayed all the grit and determination necessary to drink the milk. Eriksson has won Indy.